everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to be making skinny cheeseburger stuffed peppers and what you're gonna need to start your to start off with you're going to need a cup of brown rice and I'm just gonna use this whole grain brown rice that you just warm up in the microwave you're going to need one pound of extra lean ground beef I have this 93 lean 7% fat you're going to need one one cup of onions diced so i'm going to be dicing up a cup of onions then you're going to need salt and pepper to taste then you're going to need two tablespoons of worcestershire, worcestershire sauce however you say that two tablespoons of ketchup one tablespoon of mustard you can use spicy brown mustard if you like or any kind of mustard actually one tablespoon of pickle relish a third of a cup of tomato sauce can or jar three tablespoons of water one cup of light cheddar cheese mozzarella or blend shredded or you can use like a, a Mexican style blend that's what I'm using, like this shredded cheese. It has Monterey Jack, mild cheddar, queso, ch quesadilla, and astero cheeses. You probably know better than me, but anyway. And then four large bell peppers. You can use yellow or orange, but each about three and a half inches high and three inches wide. I just try to find some that looks, you know, where I can just cut the top off and stuff them. Good enough for that. Just cut the top off and just stuff them, you know, enough of that. Jane's wanted to say hello. Hello! He's going to be my little sous chef. Sous chef? That means you're going to help me out. Oh, okay. I know. Help you out. Okay, so I went ahead and cut up one of my onions, and it was a little more than a cup, but I didn't want to waste it, so that's that. Now I'm going to cut off, I'm going to get my four bell peppers and cut off the tops and clean out the membranes in the middle. I don't like that word, membranes. <laughs> And the seeds in it, and James wanted me to remind you that my light in the kitchen is now fixed. Thank you, James. It's, it, it's from Daddy. So you're just going to cut about one inch from the top. Well, this one's kind of short, so I'm probably going to do about maybe half an inch. Or maybe a little three-fourths of an inch. And I'm going to cut the top off. Then I'm going to clean everything out inside. Three more. One to go, one down, three to go. <laughs> okay, after you get your four bell peppers cut, you're going to set your oven to 400 degrees. And if you haven't cooked your rice already, go ahead and cook that. And you can just go ahead and uh, warm this up if you have one of these. All right, now in a large nonstick pan, you're gonna brown your ground beef and then and your onions and then add your onions you're going to season it with salt and pepper as much or as little as you like 
just making a big mess. I'm making a big mess. Sorry if my arm is getting in the way. James is telling me I'm making a big mess. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you break up the ground beef into small pieces as it cooks. All right, now you're going to add in two tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce. I'm just gonna eyeball everything. Two tablespoons of ketchup. One tablespoon of mustard. One tablespoon of pickle relish. A third of a cup of tomato sauce. and three what? tablespoons of water. And we're gonna mix it well. Can you hand me the cheese, please? Okay. Now you're gonna mix in three-fourths of a cup of cheese and the cooked rice. And cooked rice. This looks delicious. And smells really good too. And if it looks like it's getting dry, you can put another like one to two tablespoons of water. But I don't think this looks dry at all. I think it looks really moist and yummy. Sorry if the word moist bothers you, but it does with me. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna remove it from the heat. Now we're gonna fill each of the peppers with the beef mixture. We're gonna stuff them. And then you might wanna go ahead and put them in the pan when you're done in case I don't stand up. Because that one doesn't want to stand up. You can try to get as much of it in there as you can. You may have some left over. If you do, you can just save it. Or I may just let my kids eat the rest of it. Now you can get, you'll get a tablespoon of cheese and you're gonna put it on top of each one. You're going to pour one cup of water into the baking dish. Now you're going to cover the dish with foil and you're going to bake for 40 to 45 minutes. And if the peppers are not soft enough, cook about five more minutes or more. And once they're cooked you can, and cooled, you can wrap them and they'll freeze great. Okay, since I've already taken a shower and washed my makeup off and my hair is wet. And they would take a shower too. Uh, James is going to be my taste tester and so this will also sh show you that if it's kid approved. Oh, it's kid approved. He's just going to have everything minus the pepper and ours is still cooking for the 40 to 45 minutes. So, okay. <laughs> Blow on it make sure it's not hot. Oh, just don't spit on it. Do you like it? <laughs> the kid approved. Mm -hmm. What it tastes like. Now it's sour and made. Tell the camera what? 
Where would shall we wait? Toast would taste like a cheeseburger. I do not taste like a cheeseburger to me. <laughs> Let's open up and see what they look like. Ooh, hot steam. Mm. They look pretty good to me. Look like th this one could use some more cheese. This looks delicious to me. All right, if this looks like something you would like to make, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of my other videos. All right, thanks. Bye. I'm so lonely. I think I'm crazy.